So, as you guys know, I recently just moved into my first ever house. And, as you guys also know, I have a dog named Angel who I've introduced to you guys throughout the entire channel. And this was her first time moving into a new home with me as well, where she didn't have any other dogs around her to play with or keep her entertained while I'm working or filming. So, scrolling back to a few weeks ago, I was on a road trip filming a ton of videos for you guys with my best friends. And we went to some really cool haunted locations, but during this road trip, we were talking about our pets, and I was saying how I possibly might have wanted another dog. And short story short, I cave. And I got this puppy. Right, Halo? Yes. So we're going to tell a story about how I got you. This is my new puppy, Halo. He's the sweetest little baby boy in the entire world. Look how cute he is. You're gonna be a star just like Angel. They're gonna love you, buddy. And today, I'm gonna tell you guys the story of how and why I got Halo and introduce you guys to the new family member. So back to my story, while I was on this road trip, I was telling my friends how I wanted another puppy, specifically a Brussels Griffin, and a little bit later, I opened my Facebook and I saw this picture right here of my current puppy, and I immediately fell obsessed and in love with this dog. So as you guys can see here, he has a brown fur texture and a pink nose and little pink lippers. And Brussels Griffins don't usually have those colors. I just wanted to point that out. Usually they come in a fawn color or a black or a black and tan or they are rough or smooth. But he was brown and had green slash hazel eyes and I was so obsessed with his little pink nose and everything. Like I knew that I needed this dog. I love animals a lot so I caved. And then I immediately messaged out to the person who had the puppy and I found out that he was overseas. So I was like, wait a minute, I don't think I'm gonna be be able to get this dog but I ended up making it work. So I found out that he was far far away over where a bunch of the wars were currently happening. A lot of Brussels griffins were bred out of Ukraine and following areas because that breed is more common out of country and a lot of dogs have been getting rescued from places like that. I had him transported all the way from over by Poland all the way out to me and it was finally time to pick up this puppy and I got to meet him for the very first time. So here's a video of me picking up my puppy for the first time and I was so excited. I'm at the airport right now to pick up my son. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm so nervous, excited, emotional. I've been waiting for him for so long. So this is a big moment. My boyfriend's out here with the angel shirt on. We have to support. She's getting a little brother. No way. That's so long, but I'm the same outfit. Oh my god. Oh. He's like wagging like a thousand miles an hour. He's so wild. Oh my god. So excited. So excited. Did you make it to LA? You made it to Hollywood. With those big old nippers. You got the biggest nippers in the whole west. Of course, I have Angel, you guys know that, and now I have Halo. I thought, how could I not name him something that went really cute with Angel? He could be Angel's Halo. Like, how cute is that name? I just had to. I think at first when I told everybody the name, like, my family was like, I don't know, maybe. At first, I really wanted to name my next dog Panini, but that would have been if he was a girl. I decided to get a boy because Angel is kind of like the princess of the household. She doesn't want any other girls to stomp on her. So I knew that she would prefer a boy. But when they first met, she was not feeling it. Not gonna lie, I'm gonna put a quick clip here of their first initial reaction to each other and just know it gets better. It's your new baby brother. Oh. Be nice. Angel. So yeah, they, they weren't feeling it at first. Well, he was feeling it, but she wasn't feeling it. But then a few hours later, they actually became best friends. And now they are literally inseparable. Like Halo cries when he's away from Angel and Angel loves being around him and they play, even though they like have their little like fights over bones and toys. They literally do love each other so much. And she is so, so happy to have a sibling. So she's not the only dog in the house. Obviously, as you guys know, dogs are very special to me. If you guys have followed around my channel for a long time, you guys would know I made a video 
picking up Angel. Kind of the same thing, telling her, telling you guys about her story and why I got her and how special she was to me. And of course, you guys obviously all know about Trixie. She was the first dog that I ever had and grew up with and she was very, very special to me and I wanted to bring her up in today's video to honor her and memorize her again because a lot of you guys always ask, like, do you think about her? I think about her all the time and it crushes my heart so much, but I think if I didn't own a dog as wonderful as Trixie, it wouldn't have inspired me to have the dogs that I have now. She made me feel like I always need a dog in my life because she was the most wonderful, most sweetest dog um, in the world that I've ever come across to and I'm still gonna say to that day, she is the most special dog that I could have ever had um, and she inspired me to want to have more dogs throughout my life. I still get emotional talking about her. It's hard for me to talk about her because she was that special to me um, and it's hard to move on from that, but she would be so happy to see that I have new dogs in my life as wonderful as Angel and Halo who will continue to bring smiles to you guys and to me and be a big part of this channel and I love just sharing, you know, my family members. They're like my little family members with fur <laughs> with you guys because they make me laugh a lot and they make me smile a lot and I want you guys to feel that same joy that they bring me to you guys as well through the camera or through the screen because they really are great little dogs, um, all of them, including Trixie even though she's not around. I hope that she still continues to make people smile through her old videos. They're all such wonderful dogs and now I'm really excited to introduce to you guys Halo into the mix of our little family here and so you guys can get to know him. I've had him for a little bit over a month now I think. I've been working on this introduction video for a while because I really wanted to get to know him and you know share him with you guys so here's a little completion of what Halo's been up to and I hope you guys will welcome him into the little family you have on this channel so welcome Halo and here's his little introduction. I have Halo and Angel here dressed up so cute. They have matching little onesies and bow ties. Angel you are the proudest big sister. All oh, your little teethers are showing. One thing that's funny about Halo is he has these little like underbite teeth and they always poke out. You have the grumpiest little smile buddy and you are rocking the cherries. So I'm taking Halo on his first walk right now and he acts like he's already been on walks before. Look at him owning this place. He's not even scared at all. One brave little man. You having fun on your walkie? <gasps> Who's having a fun walkie? He's so happy. There's all these ducks and everything out here and he's like, nope, I'm gonna just sit here and sniff stuff. Update, I brought him closer to the ducks and he still is not having it. Yeah, he might he might not be a walkier. Angel did the same thing when she was a puppy. She was like, I hate ducks. Now he's finally getting the hang of it again. Right, buddy? You having a fun first walkie? Who's having a fun first walkie? Come on. Come on, buddy. He's doing so good. For a first walk, this is so impressive. This is Halo's first time at a restaurant. We're at Cheesecake Factory and he's sitting down right now. He has a bone. Sit, buddy. Can you wave? Good boy. He's so good. Oh, there was a yawn there. We don't want you to choke on the bone. Tony, are you going Halloween shopping? You're gonna be helping us find some Halloween decorations. Mm -hmm. you want this one? Oh, you want this one? So guys, that was it 
it for today's video and thank you all for watching today's video. I know it wasn't a scary video or a spooky video. I know that I do have a vlog channel. I do want to put that out there called Lacey's Life. I'll have it down below. I'm going to be putting a lot of the videos where Halo and Angel are in them on that channel as well as arcade videos that I recently just started bringing back because I love doing that stuff so much and now that COVID has been over, I've been out filming that so it's been a lot of fun. This channel will have spooky videos of all sorts. I just wanted to let you guys know that I have a new family member and share it with you guys because that's really special to me. I wanted to share it here on my main channel with you guys because I'm so excited. Anyways guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I definitely will have more of Halo and Angel coming up soon. Thank you guys all so much for watching today's video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys! Thank you.